where is the best place to invest your money? Stock market or real estate? This is the question as old as real estate investing has been around. People are always confused and they're always asking questions. Hey, my name is Tim with the Tim Stout Group, True North Real Estate Advisors, and I'm your real estate expert. And today I'm gonna to break down my opinion on what's better between stocks and real estate. I get it, I'm a real estate agent, and of course you're gonna think I am going to say real estate investing. Well, this time you're you're right, but hear me out. I'm gonna give you, uh, I'm gonna lay down some framework. I'm gonna give you several reasons why I think real estate investing is a better option for your investing in your dollars. But I want you to wait until the last one. That's the one, the most important. The first question I want you to ask yourself is why can I walk into any big bank and I can borrow money to buy real estate, but I can't borrow money to buy their stock? Keep that question in your head as we go through our reasons. In the past 30 years, the average return on investment in the stock market has been 10%. That is a that's a pretty good return and that rivals the real estate ROI. It's because real estate in the last 25 years has been 10.3%. So 0.3% has been more with real estate than it has a stock market. And that's not, that's not a whole lot but I'm gonna talk about the four reasons that you should invest in real estate. Reason number one, appreciation. Last few years, we've seen appreciation from 10 to 14%, but on average, appreciation is around four to 5%. What is appreciation? Appreciation is the amount of value that your property grows. So let's say 5%, you have a $100,000 property. Next year, it's gonna be worth $105,000. That is basically what appreciation is. A $300,000 home that appreciates at 5% will be worth $315,000 next year. And the year after, it's gonna be worth $330,750 based on that 5% appreciation. So your number one reason is appreciate. Not only do you get an ROI, so even though there's there's some dips and there's some high points like we've seen, there's dips like in 08, but your home's going to appreciate on an average of 5%. So that's one really good reason to invest in real estate. Number two, cash flow. Cash flow is super important for investors and it's a good way to hedge if anything goes wrong with your property. Cash flow is if I own a $200,000 property and I charge $2,000 a month rent. So a $2,000 a month rent, let's say my mortgage is $1,200. So $1,200 for my mortgage and insurance and everything that goes out, then that means that I cash flow $800. So every month I keep $800 and my tenant pays my debt services. My tenant pays my mortgage. The tenant pays my insurance. The tenant pays for things that goes wrong with the property. So that's gonna make a profit of about $9,600 a year if no big expenses happens. Number three, and some of the most important benefits owning real estate, and some of the, you hear you hear a lot in the news with like the, with when, when Trump was president and some of the things he's claimed about not paying taxes. The reason a lot of these high net worth individuals can get away with paying taxes is because there's so many tax benefits of owning real estate. There's rapid depreciation, everything's a write off. Definitely ask your CPA because I'm not a, uh, I am not a tax expert, I am a real estate expert. So ask your tax expert about the different ways that you can save money with the tax benefits associated with real estate. Number four, and this one's the most important one, leverage, leverage real estate. If I go in to buy $100,000 of stock, I pay $100,000. I can take that same $100,000 and I could leverage it with the bank and I could buy $500,000 worth of property. So at $500,000, it's appreciating every year. I am getting cash flow every month, and then I have tax benefits up to, you know, up to the property of $500,000. So there's a lot of benefits as far as the leverage of the property. So thinking of the leverage, not only can I borrow money to buy the property, but I want you to think about it is you don't pay the debt back. Real estate is the only investment that I know of that someone will actually pay the debt for you, also known as the tenant. So if I have a $1,200 mortgage, $2,000 rent, the tenant pays the rent. That's the only investments you can have. You can leverage the debt. There's a lot of reasons to be investing in real estate versus the stock market. And this is strictly my opinion. I put my money in real estate investing. I own, I own several properties. I am, I am in the middle of purchasing an apartment complex and I look to purchase more. I enjoy real estate. I enjoy the benefits of real estate as far as taxes, as far as cash flow. And every year it seems like the properties continue to appreciate. So investing in long-term real estate makes a lot of sense. But a pro tip, a pro tip, do your homework up front. Find the right property. Find the right real estate agent to help you. And once you get the real estate agent, find the right contractors to do the work. 
find the right property manager, do your homework and find the right tenant. If you do all your homework up front, you're a lot less likely to deal with the headaches of the real estate and the renters and all the horror stories that you hear. You do your homework up front, you're less likely to deal with that. Guys, I am passionate about real estate investing. I hope you can tell. If you have questions about real estate investing, comments, feel free to email me at tim at timstoutteam.com or leave a comment. Remember, who you work with matters and have a great day.